I, love, you know, I really like the way we started. Um, I just played a very consistent game from start to finish. Uh, played with force, played with attitude, played with a lot of determination. Um, played through difficult stretches in really as hostile a building as you're ever going to play in in this league. Um, guys got stops, rebounds. Uh, Keelan Martin, you know, played, you know, he, he, he just, he starred in his role, you know, as a guy off the bench to give us energy and play with force on defense, made some huge plays offensively. Um, Miles Turner was great on defense. His three point shooting was huge. Malcolm had 30 points, you know, quiet 30, um, you know, he was spectacular. McConnell had another great game. And look, we're showing signs of the, of the team that we aspire to be. And, uh, it's work. It's work to keep working toward that goal. Um, but you know, in the last 10 days, we're making progress and we just got to stay the course. Pat Boylan. Rick, you're on a back to back. It's the final night of a long road trip. You're missing a couple starters. You noted how tough of a building that is to play. Perhaps the most extenuating circumstances have been stacked against you this year, and you come away with your most impressive win of the season. Uh, what does a night like tonight say to you about your group? You know, just just that our guys are really hungry, and they, you know, we we know we know where we are. Um, we're, we're, we really are starting to understand who we are as a team. We're a team that need, needs each other. We're, we're a team that needs to play with, uh, with, a, with a physical uh, posture, with, with an attitude, and with a great level of togetherness. And, uh, you know, this morning we talked about the game last night, you know, and just um, it's, it's really micro-thin margins for error and wins and losses. And, uh, you know, and this league is tough. You know, I mean, every night is is a major battle, you know, to try to win. So um, I just love the way we, we hung together through everything. Um, even when we were on good runs, you know, we came into timeouts and everybody said, hey, stay with us, stay focused, no let up, you know, and, and that's, you know, that's how it's got to be. James? Rick, I know you talked before the game about the, the Gobert and, and Miles Turner matchup. Um, how do you think he performed there? Um, you know, aside from the end, how do you think he accepted that challenge? Well, I, Miles, Miles Turner just has such a tremendous amount of pride in protecting the rim area and, and being a force in there. Uh, that said, he's, he's very unique in that he's a seven-footer that's quick enough to switch on the outside and to get out and um, and trap and then get back to the, to the rim and do those kinds of things. Um, you know, the play that happened where, where those guys, uh, got hung up and there was, was pushing. I didn't see how it started. I haven't seen the, I haven't seen the video of it yet. Um, but that, that was another thing that ignited our team. Um, even though it happened with, you know, four minutes left in the game, uh, and we had a lead at the time. Um, it just, uh, it, 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 it ignited our determination even more to finish the thing strong. And, and I'm, I'm just proud of the way that, that we did. Um, but Gobert, Gobert and, and Turner is, is a tremendous matchup. And if you're a basketball purist and, you know, you know the game and appreciate defense, I mean, watching these two guys go at it is, you know, I mean, I'd pay to see it. Wheat. Hey, Rick, talking about energy, I know T.J. McConnell's a guy you can count on in that department pretty much every night, but the way he scored the ball really all road trip, how big a lift does that give you guys offensively? It's huge, you know, and, and when he's in there, we have to play a certain way. You know, we have to turn him loose to do what he does, which is create pace, um, get in the nooks and crannies, you know, play to his, his rib attack and mid-range game. And, you know, now he's banging in threes, too. He banged the three and in the first half, so... Um, he's playing great. You know, uh, Malcolm Brogdon really felt horrible in the first half last night. And in the second half, he, he felt better uh, coming off of his illness today. He was visibly better this morning at our meeting. Um, so that was that was really great for him. And it allowed him to have a, a spectacular night as well.